Good evening, everybody. This is Lance. I'd like to welcome you all back to my channel. Um, Co-founder of BH Capital Enterprises, also longtime Abacus member uh, and team leader for Team Mamba. Um, wanted to uh, talk about meeting people where they are. Um, I've made this mistake and continue to make the mistake of thinking that I can not necessarily dictate to people what they need, but kind of dictate to people what they need. Um, and that's kind of a mistake to make, uh, a mistake that I've made, you know, in my business is making the assumption that I know what the market wants. When the truth is, it's the other way around. The market dictates to uh, entrepreneurs, to businesses, what it is that they want. Um, so uh, the job of an entrepreneur or the challenge of an entrepreneur is to find, um, find that need, um, or provide a, a solution for, for whatever that need to, happens to be. Um, so what I've been learning to do is to try to meet people where they are. So instead of me saying, um, you know, this is what it is, this is what I have, and, you, you know, take it or leave it, I've been learning to make slight adjustments um, in certain areas of my business and making uh, more than slight adjustments in other areas of my business so that I can better meet the needs of uh, the market, you know, in the area of the market that I um, target. Uh, so that has required me to um, step more out of my comfort zone, uh, with which is, you know, talking to people, sparking up conversations, um, straight out asking them, you know, what is it that you want and what can I do to help uh, you get to wherever it is that you're trying to go. Um, so we get down to the nitty gritty of what the issue is if it's a situation where um, an individual or prospective customer is like, um, I need what you have, but I'm having X, Y, Z type of challenge um, when it comes to uh, um, hiring your services or whatever. Um, so I'm learning to uh, meet people where they are. Uh, if someone says, um, if someone says, hey, I just want to build a strong portfolio uh, so that I can invest in long term, cool, let's do that. If someone says, hey, I want to learn to, um, I want to learn to generate cash flow in the markets, okay, cool, let's, let's plot out a plan to get you there. Um, but uh, it, it's almost as if when it comes to certain financial services, they all stem from the same tree. So we start with the same, along the same path and then we branch off to whatever area it is a prospective customer is interested in. So whether it be, you know, evaluating companies or trading options or whatever, you know, we all start with that same um, foundation. Uh, so um, I do, you know, I, I have, you know, another announcement coming later on um, over the next, I don't know, week or so. Um, but uh, the thing that I'm learning is that if you can't, if, you're, if your business doesn't evolve, um, how can you expect to really grow your business? So you take some time, you test the market and see what works. And after a certain period of time, you look back over uh, that testing phase and you see what what was done right, what may have been done wrong, what could have been done better. And then you make adjustments moving forward in hopes that you did a good study with your segment of the market. Um, and I like to make sure that I ask my customers, you know, or my clients, customers and clients, you know, what what is it that I can do to provide better services for you? 
Um, like, generally speaking, we don't like criticism. We don't like that. Um, it brings out these inner demons uh, from the shadows of our minds and our hearts um, that we kind of have to face in those moments. So I'm trying to learn to work with those parts of me that I've uh, repressed over many years. Um, so I like to ask my, um, matter of fact, I just did this with uh, some of my Canvas clients, um, you know, ask them directly, hey, I'm contemplating making this change. Um, and here's the reason. What are your thoughts? What is your feedback uh, when it comes to that? And so far, you know, I've been good, getting good feedback about the change. Um, so, I, like I said, I'll talk more about that later. But as a, as a, you know, self-employed business owner, entrepreneur, whatever you want to call yourself, you can't be, you can't let fear keep you from asking those tough questions um, when it comes to your business. I mean, naturally, it's something that you built, so you want to protect it. You know, you also want to protect yourself in that. Um, but remember, businesses aren't human, you know. Uh, they're manifestations of our imagination, you know, that, that um, have their own sort of identity that has nothing to do with being human. So, uh, you know, if, if you have trouble with that, just kind of remind yourself that it's not it's not. A human, you know, so it's okay for your business to get some criticism, especially if not even just criticism, but feedback, you know, positive feedback. And sometimes even the negative stuff may, may be beneficial for you, um, for your business. Um, so um, a lot of times that information can help you to grow your business to, you know, wherever you're trying to grow it. So uh that's that you know those are some things that I'm um dealing with working with thinking about you know at this moment um and you know it all stems from meeting people where they are you know some people um some people want it all really so give it all to them and then some people only want bits and pieces so you have to consider uh, whether it's worth giving those bits and pieces. Of course, you know, not every single um, potential customer that comes to me is going to get exactly what it is that they want. That's just the truth because I have to be selective in, in any, biz, any business owner. You know, you have to be selective in who you choose to take on. Uh, and sometimes it may not be worth your time. Sometimes it may not be worth uh, the money, um, and you just have to make that decision, you know, based on uh, whatever conditions, parameters, whatever. Um, but in general, I'm learning to meet people where they are um, and not try to dictate to them whatever it is I feel that they need. Naturally, I feel that, and I believe wholeheartedly that black people in general need to learn how to make their money work for them instead of the old rhetoric of working for money. Um, but I have to, number one, understand that every black person is not going to be my customer. You know, it, it, they're not going to be my ideal customer. Uh, number two, um, I can't dictate to black people uh, or any potential customer, um, what they should have. Um, even if I may be, you know, right in some form or fashion, it doesn't mean that my business will be successful in procuring, um, clients. Uh, so what I'm learning to do better is to go to the market and say, Hey, what it is, what is it that you want? Um, and then we try to figure out some sort of common ground where I can provide that need um, that has been identified by the market and not by me. Um, so 
just growing, just learning and growing, man. Um, it's it it it's not easy for sure, um, but it, it's necessary. Uh, I feel so. That's why I'm embarking on this journey, really. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, any any feedback, any thoughts, uh, comment below. Um, you can find me on Facebook, um, BH Capital um, Enterprises slash uh, BH Capital Enterprises, comma LLC. You can find me there. Instagram at BH Capital E N T L L C. Same thing on Twitter. Um, uh, that's about all the social networks in the moment, besides YouTube. Um, and uh, you can email me at lance at bhcapitalenterprises.com. Uh, I'm pretty responsive to messages. Uh, love talking about the markets. Just love talking to people in general about whatever their goals and, and dreams are. Because um, I'm a dreamer. But I'm also a doer. Uh, and in being more of a doer, I realize that I have to make a lot of adjustments in my personal life and in my business life as well. Uh, but thanks for watching. Y'all have a good evening. Um, and well wishes to you.